The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 39 to 42. Jesus told a parable to the disciples. Can one blind man guide another? Surely both will fall into a pit. The disciple is not superior to his teacher. The fully trained disciple will always be like his teacher. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the splinter that is in your eye when you cannot see the plank in your own? Hypocrite. Take the plank out of your own eye first, and then you will see clearly enough to take out the splinter that is in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. John Chrysostom, a great bishop, preacher, and theologian of the early church. His name Chrysostom means golden-mouthed, reflecting his exceptional gift for preaching and teaching. In the first reading, from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 16 to 19, 22 to 27, St. Paul writes about his own ministry, saying, If I preach the gospel, I have no reason to boast, for I am compelled to do so. He reminds us that our purpose is not to seek praise or recognition, but to serve others and bring them to Christ. Paul's selflessness and dedication to his ministry are an inspiration to us all. In the Gospel reading of today, our Lord Jesus teaches us about the importance of humility, saying, Can a blind person guide another blind person? Will they not both fall into a pit? He reminds us that we must first examine ourselves and remove the plank from our own eye before trying to correct others. This teaching is a powerful reminder of the need for self-awareness and humility in our lives. St. John Chrysostom, in his commentary, on this passage writes, The greatest glory is to be able to humble oneself. He knew that true greatness comes not from earthly recognition, but from our willingness to serve and to love others. These readings remind us that true greatness comes from humility and selflessness. Our purpose is to serve others, not to seek praise or recognition. We must examine ourselves and acknowledge our own weaknesses before trying to correct others. May we strive to follow the example of St. Paul, our Lord Jesus, and Saint John Chrysostom, humbling ourselves and seeking to serve others. May we remember that true glory comes not from earthly recognition, but from our willingness to serve and love others. 
Now, reflect on your own motivations and actions. Are you seeking praise or recognition? Or are you truly seeking to serve others? How can you humble yourself and acknowledge your own weaknesses this week? Who is someone you can serve or help this week without seeking anything in return? Amen.